rooted in us. Then it's transmitted to each cell in the body to energize the whole body, the entire body. The movement is based on the different ways energy flows through the body, leading to a crescendo. The second section, the sun god in all her glory, and the seven horses appears with different gates and characteristics is reflected through the movements. The seven horses represent the seven colors of the rainbow. This is then for, for, followed by the orbiting of the seven planets, which we show through the various mudras. So we show Mercury in our dance through the mudra Lassya, and then Venus we show through Lassya, Mars, then we show Jupiter, we show Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And then we invite the audience into our journey. So we walk through the alleyway, through the middle path, and you are more than welcome to join us with various small gestural movements, and then we end up at outside. So it's up to you. At the end, if you would like to join us, you're more than welcome, just taking you through our journey. But it's up to you. It's, it's a choice you have. Okay, so see how you feel, and then join us. Thank you.
thank you very much, everybody. Um, thank you. I think we were not expecting this many people, I'll be very honest. Um, but I think the audience turnout has been quite impressive. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I'm just going to introduce my artist, and then if you have any questions, you may ask. This is the end of our show. We just wanted to just do a show for an hour for you. Didn't want to do it too long because it's the weekday, everybody is busy. And hopefully next time we'll return with a longer program and perhaps even more artists as well. Thank you so much. I'm going to introduce, invite my audience, uh, my artists, um, Kali Chandrasekharam. Suchismita Ganguly. Yadavan. Rohan Roy. So we are Kaladi Arts based in Hampshire. Um, we do sort of work in London as well. So if you want any information about the organization, I have some flyers. I, I will be able to share it with you. And you know, if you want to get in touch with us, join our mailing list, etc., please do um, you know, freely, and I will give you the flyers. If you have any questions about the production, I'll be happy to take some questions. I'm happy to take any questions you may have. Um, so Kala the Arts has, this is our 25th year, and um, I have done some work myself on a, as a freelance in, in London, um, but I think we have a very good relationship with Nehru Center. We have done some things online in the COVID time with Amish Tripathiji, who has le just left, um, but I think this is just coming back to do more work. Thank you. Yes, we have some more choreographies. We have uh, uh, both. Both. But I think this was just a very short project. We just wanted to come and just present something for an hour. Uh, pardon me? So we, um, we have done like Meghdoot and uh, you know, we have done that sort of in ODC and um, this, this was just last year we produced. And then we have, um, I think uh, we, we have done some Pallavis as well. I teach, so I created some Pallavis for the students to perform and also um, uh, Madhurashtakam as well. I've choreographed myself. Um, and the artists themselves choreograph as well. So for example, Kali, he choreographs his own work. Um, yes, so lots of things. And I think you, may, you will find them on the website as well. There's some information on the website. So if you go on the website, you can see some of the creations we have done. Uh, my guru is uh, Guru Kelu Charan Mahapatra. So, Yes, I'm one of his very senior students. Um, I learned with him in the 1980s, early 90s. Nice. Lovely to meet you. So are you here for a short trip? Nice, nice to, so nice to meet you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. No, thank you for coming to watch us. Thank you so much. Sure, definitely. Any other, anybody else wants to ask some questions? Yeah, so what's this like a contemporary piece or what's it traditional? Uh, we started with traditional, as you saw. So there were some traditional pieces and then this was a mixture of traditional and contemporary. But the origins, the, you know, the swaras and everything, we have not diluted anything. You know, so they were classical swaras. You were wearing the bells and she came without the bells. Yes. I think the bells is very much to be, I think bells worked better on the stage without bells, I would say. It's a different sort of stage because normally when we perform, the stage is on the floor and the audience are up. But here, the, the, the stage is up, the audience are down, yeah. you know. So, different stage. So, I think it worked better. I think a lot of Kali's movements sort of have been influenced Kali, would you say? Kathak. Yeah. Yeah, Kathak is a classical form which is more influenced by flamenco. Okay. 
So I think we are all trained in classical forms, all of us, and including the musicians, they are classically very sound based. We work with a lot of classically based you know, musicians and dancers whose knowledge is very grounded. But I think when we come to a certain level, we create our own work as well. Yeah, so it's like exploring, trying to see what works for us and being creative as an artist. Thank you so much. Sure, sure. Absolutely, yes. I mean, we just caught hold of him this time, and I was saying to him, yeah, other than this is the start of our journey. So we, I just love working with live musicians and so our dancers as well here. So I think it will be lovely to collaborate, you know, continue collaborating. We are working with Rohan on the 17th. We are back performing in London. Um, at, I can't remember, it's a, it's a barrister's performance for Diwali on the 17th. Um, so three of us are performing for that. Kali is also performing somewhere in London as well. So we go different ways and then we come back again. And uh, we will join forces and perhaps you can see us back again later on, maybe next year. And you have to make sure you got, you're back again to watch us as well. Because we're trying to get audiences, you know, for shows, yeah. And it's lovely to see the same people again. Because then you can see how we have developed and how we have grown as well as artists. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and may I just also share, last, just recently, we have done something we took to streets, the classical forms, because that's what Color of the Arts does now, take classical forms to the streets. And we had 2,000 people follow us. And Kali was doing Yakshagana, and they, like, they were mesmerized. You know, he had loads of followers, you know, wanting to take pictures, asking what it's all, all about. And it's a huge, diverse audience, you know, from Polish communities, from the Ukrainian communities, you know, from the Afghanistan community, lots of different people inquiring, learning the art forms. So this is just something we have just um, done in the last few days. Um, thank you. So this is outside London. So this started happening. And many artists actually throughout the whole country, 